to another edition of Seamless Style, powered by Politics and Polaroids. I'm your host, Mr. Parker. All right, we're back. We are back from our hideous summer hiatus. Now, I must admit, this summer went by pretty fast. Um, I didn't do much this summer, actually. I was... Uh, I was actually borderline a hermit this summer. I didn't, I didn't do too much. Um, you know, we still, we're still in a pandemic, and then you have the uh, the addition to COVID nineteen pandemic. We now have Delta variant, and I just saw that there is something. I'm not sure of the name, but there's something mutating in South Africa that uh, could be the next spread. So. You know, even though mask mandates were lifted, the world opened back up a lot more than it was this time last year. Um, I just have a fear of the super spreader. And I've been fortunate enough to avoid catching COVID-19 as far as I know. I have been tested a few times. Um, but just not, just not ready to fully step out there in that manner. So I just been kind of chilling and you know what happens when I just sit back and I chill. I shop. So this first episode back for our fall season, we're going to look at some pre-fall and fall finds that I was able to pick up during the hiatus. Um, wasn't as fruitful of a haul as maybe this time last year was uh but definitely got some quality pieces and i even found a grail piece one of my grail pieces i was able to uh procure i was able to procure so i'm very excited and ecstatic uh about that um but yeah i'm gonna show you some of the fall finds uh that i was able to get my hands on over the past couple of months as well as we're going to talk about um, some of the items, some of the pre-fall items that are currently on RalphLauren.com. Uh, I just, I just say that the game is back in effect. The game is back in effect. I'm definitely pleased and excited with some of the new things that I've seen. Uh, as well as got my hands on, but definitely some of the new things I've seen online. Whew, boy, it's going to be a great fall, winter season for the Ralph Lauren guy. So listen, without any further ado, let's get to it, man. Y'all ready? Me too. Let's go. So over the summer, um, I sold two uh, rugby shirts and I told them not because I didn't like them or didn't wear them that's that's not that's not my lane 98% uh, of the items that I sell I sell them because they're too big so eventually I probably will be out of the selling game altogether because as I sell I replace and I don't expect to get any smaller you know, as far as sizes, knock wood. Anyway, I sold two and I ended up replacing those two with newer pieces and different pieces. So I ended up getting three rugby's uh, over the hiatus. First one, brand new item online. And it's a rugby fleece sweater. Now I have two uh, rugby sweaters by Rugby Ralph Lauren. Um, so they're vintage pieces. This is a newer piece. This is currently available online. 
I love the color palette. That's what drew me to it. And then the fact that it was in sweater mode, or technically because it's fleece sweatshirt mode. And it has the kangaroo pockets. So it has the kangaroo pockets and it's ribbed at the bottom. All right. But it has your iconic rugby collar in white. No padding, which is not needed. This is more of a statement piece. This is more of a, uh, a wearable piece as it is a functional piece. I probably wouldn't wear this if I was in a pickup rugby game in the quad at Duke or Yale. But however, like I said, great looking piece. Kangaroo pockets ribbed at the bottom for that sweatshirt or sweater feel. And uh, of course ribbed at the sleeves. Again, your rugby club collar. And this beautiful college green, college green and with gold striping with a purple polo player. Now I wish it was a crest or I wish it was a, 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 a Griffin or heraldic, heraldic logo or something more collegiate, but I take it. Knowing me, this will probably be a layering piece anyway. And I'm not just talking about of course, obviously, the way I wear rugby's, I would wear it with a <clears throat> a button-up shirt under it, or something under it. Maybe even a turtleneck, maybe even a polo knit with the collar flipped. But I would definitely wear something under it. But when I say this is going to be a layering piece for me, I'm probably going to wear it under some type of tweed. Okay, so the pony will be covered up for the most part. But even if I don't, I mean, it's just this is just a really nice piece. Really nice, uh, anywhere from casual to uh, dress up type of piece. You're not gonna be able to dress it up for so much. You can't pull out a tuxedo and put it over top of this, but you know, I can definitely do some things with it. Clean, crisp collar. The uh, current price online is 125. So not a bad, not a bad piece to add to your arsenal, especially if you are a rugby connoisseur, all right? So there's that. The next one is also a current piece online. And this was just a nostalgic piece. This just took me back to, to the, uh, when I first started collecting actual rugby shirts. This is just one of those looks that is undeniable, all right? So it's got a, it's got a gray, a gray uh, base to it almost like a slate gray right but then you have you have the four basic uh, food group colors for collegiate styling in the route in the world of Ralph Lauren you have your navy you have your classic wine you have your college green and then your crest here is predominantly trimmed and accented in yellow in the uh, in the yellow in the college gold uh, and the same colors with a little bit of Rugby Royal here are inside the crest as well. You got a Griffin, Castle, Crown, etc. Right? The Rugby Collar. That iconic stiff Rugby Collar, but instead of white, it's in the navy. I always like that switch up sometimes. That switch up is never, is never not a good thing, you know? Got, got a nice padding up here up top. A little bit of padding in the sleeves. No elbow patches, but definitely the stripe is 360. It goes all the way around. And then the tag. The tag lets you know that it's one of those iconic iconic pieces. It's the Polo RL version, of course, but it has that rugby Ralph Lauren nostalgic look to it. Okay. Uh, the MSRP on this beauty is 148 so not bad not bad for a new item definitely not bad right right there in line with what you normally expect uh i haven't figured out exactly how i want to style this yet but i can tell you this this may be uh this may be added to the rugby's in my collection that doesn't require a sports coat because this piece with a button-up shirt bow tie necktie or no tie and we got a vibe here this is a this is a, 
a beautiful piece. I'm, I'm really, I was really excited when I saw that, when I saw this piece. And it, like I said, it's currently available. So go get you one, all right? And then last but not least, this beautiful eBay. Yeah, this beautiful eBay find. No, this is Poshmark, sorry. This beautiful Poshmark find was a no-brainer. The price on it, I think, was I the guy only wanted like 40 bucks for it. And there's there was absolutely nothing wrong with it. Didn't have to get it sized. No flaws, no stains, no odors, no nothing. So um, it was this was what we would consider in the uh, Ralph Lauren collection, collecting world, as a blessing. Alright. Rugby Ralph Lauren. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful insignia here with the collegiate pegasus with the England the England uh, flag logo here on the crest rugby Ralph Lauren look well play well Whew. beautiful beautiful classic rugby classic rugby fit and a large so it's a perfect fit I can sometimes do the uh, vintage slim fit large but it's rare a lot of times with the vintage slim fit in the rugby, I would have to go with an extra large. But classic classic rugby's, I can go with a large and a classic fit, and I'm good to go all day. As I stated, that classic rugby uh, insignia, rugby Ralph Lauren insignia for the rugby's. Nothing under the collar when you flip it flip it up. Classic traditional white stiff collar, green college green with that beautiful, crispy, white striping, right? And then on the back, you have the number nine, and it's above the Union Jack flag, the flag for Great Britain. So this is, uh, yeah, for, for, for a guy like me who, who has always been intrigued by uh, England, the UK, um, that whole, that whole vibe over there when it comes to fashion and styling is uh, a lot of it is right up my alley. Uh, London and London and, and surrounding areas, Liverpool, uh, definitely places that are on my list of places that I want to visit and spend some time. Um, so yeah, I love this piece. And this piece probably will also be a standalone piece as well as a piece that I would layer under some tweed, but definitely a standalone piece because of the beautiful flag on the back. All right. Now what I want to show you is a few, just a couple sweaters that I was also able to uh, acquire during our hiatus. All right. Now the first sweater that I would like to talk about is the sweater that I'm currently wearing. I mean, what, what needs to be said? If, if you're a fan of the polo bear, this is a must have. Uh, it's the Oxford Big Pony. Instead of the traditional polo player on the, the horse, you have the equestrian, the equestrian bear doing his thing. Same pose, like I said, it's just, I mean, it, 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 what, what can be said? What can be said now? For those of you that may be new to the channel, you have to go back a few episodes to one of the last seamless style uh, traditional spring episodes I did where I discussed my frustration with the new sizing going on white bear sweater, right? So, this is a medium. Because I wasn't gonna make the same mistake twice. So when I was online and I saw it, I went to details and the deets said, regular fit, wider at the shoulder with a modern silhouette. No. Went down a little further and screenshot the numbers. And then I went back to that white bear sweater from 
uh, early spring and compared the numbers and they were the same across the board. So I knew I was not gonna do a large. Medium, perfect fit, all right? So what I decided to do uh, today was I wanted to keep it a, a bit casual, so no neckwear. I did this nice button down, button down woven shirt and the color the color schemes and palettes of the sweater and the the uh, sports coat. Now the sports coat obviously match play polo. You got your match play <clears throat> three member match play here, so it complements the big pony. Now I could have did, also did the match play uh, college velvet slippers, but I didn't want to. I didn't want to overdo it. I wanted to keep it a bit casual with the look. I'm also trying to have more discipline when it comes to belts and shoes uh, matching. Brown belt, brown shoes, blue belt, blue shoes, etc. And I didn't want to do a blue belt. I wanted to do the big pony polo buckle belt in the brown. So that's what I did. So I went with my brown tassel loafers. Uh, the, 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 the green with navy striped socks to complement the sports coat, which also has uh, more of a French navy, but still navy regardless, but more of a French navy under the lapel collar. And, the, and a, pair, a pair of denim, a pair of dark, dark denim. Um, you could, I could have did a medium wash denim. I could have did a even a light wash denim, but I didn't want to do any, any denim that would distress the repair. I wanted to keep it a, a, a clean look. I wanted to keep, keep a clean, smart look as far as the denim. So, uh, but this is one find. It's currently uh, it's currently available online. It was initially only available on the Polo app, but it is now on Ralphlauren.com for any of my viewers who are in a foreign country and I still don't have access to the polo app. Alright, another piece I picked up, which if you have, if you watched any of the behind the scenes that I started this year, where I, you know, randomly uh, did some reviews or some how-tos on certain things. Um, if you watched any of those over the hiatus, then you saw this sweater when I did my review of Old Hillside Burke. All right. Cash Miracle Whip. The Cash Miracle Whip sweater. 100% cashmere. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful sweater. Uh, lightweight, perfect for layering. Definitely a piece that can stand alone, obviously. Uh, beautiful color palette with the blue hair fading into the or ombre I should say, into the cream and then different uh, hues of green. With the polo match on the front torso as well as on the arm. Excuse me, it's also on the back. Nice crew neck cashmere with a beautiful motif. This was just a dope sweater and I was not, I was not gonna not have this sweater, okay? Um, and then, Another piece I picked up, I saw this and it was just a great price on it for the, for the, the intensive and beautiful details um, in this sweater. I think this was maybe a $40 find, but this one was definitely eBay. I remember that for sure. A nice shawl pullover. Nice, beautiful shawl pullover sweater in a tartan pattern be perfect for the holidays suede trimming around the shawl collar leather buckle functional buckle here for your closure leather elbow patches and that beautiful bourbon hue so this piece here will definitely, when that temperature drops to where your average is 50, 40, whatever, this vintage piece will definitely get a lot of, a lot of play and a lot of rotation. 
vintage polo by Ralph Lauren, size large. Wool, not too, too heavy, but definitely heavy enough that, you know, I won't have to, if I'm here in North Carolina, I won't have to layer it, but so much. Now, if you know, if I'm in New York, Chicago during the winter, you know, this might be one of four pieces because those, those falls and winters are different. Those holiday seasons, that weather is different, but this piece definitely was a great find. All right, last but not least, I want to show you a few pieces of outerwear, i.e. jackets, that I was able to pick up during the hiatus. All right, let's go. I like to affectionately nickname this piece, it's a small world piece. Why do you ask? Well, reason being, I saw this on the bay. I saw this on eBay and um, I made an offer on it. And next thing I know, maybe a couple hours later, one of my one of my closest RL guy friends uh, hit me up in our chat and he said, Parker, uh, did you just hit me about a jacket on eBay? And I was like, oh shit. Yeah, I did actually. I didn't, you know, I didn't know it was my guy Reese. So, you know, we we negotiated via our chat. You know, definitely that's a friend you don't want to lowball him. Plus, he know what he has, so you know. But again, that's a friend, so we worked it out pretty, pretty, pretty uh, swiftly as far as pricing, and we did it offline as a middle finger to eBay because them fees are crazy. And this is what I got. And the only reason he was selling, because again, he's like me. The only reason he was selling because it's too big. He's uh, more of a true medium now. This jacket is large. And this jacket actually runs a little big. This Bayport, this Bayport actually runs a little big, but I still like the fit because it's a jacket. And, and because of the weight, it gives me room for some, some truly heavyweight layering and still be comfortable during these fall, the fall, upcoming fall months when the temperatures really drop. Uh, nice, nice collegiate crest here, 2004 in Roman numeral, rugby written in the collegiate Gothic font. Beautiful, beautiful art. Uh, you got your navy and your classic wine chevron on the front. Again, fully, fully zippable, uh, full zip uh, Bayport jacket. Nothing on the back, nothing needed. Rugby Ralph Lauren, great piece. Uh, a Bayport is essential, to be honest with you. Um, I have a few, but the ones that I have are more uh, themed. So it's not something you could just like throw on and do what you need to do. But this one, this one fulfills that need. So I, I'm, I'm really pleased to have it. You know, a lot of, the Bayports are always available at the uh, at your factory stores usually in some hue of, of, of tan, like maybe this boating khaki or maybe something a little lighter. I've even seen them in a Gurkha, which is a little bit darker. Um, you know, a nice solid navy as well. A nice solid Bayport with a polo player here. You can't go, like, it's an essential. You, you should, you, everybody should have at least one in their closet. Um, and again, like I said, all of mine are themed. Um, but again, because of my love-hate relationship with the small pony. But this piece right here for me works because of how I, you know, I predominantly, when I'm not suited and booted, I predominantly dress in a collegiate Ivy trad type of style. So this this works for me as a as an essential piece. All right. This next piece I picked up. Whew, man, I love it. It's a it's a tweed piece, obviously. It's got Norfolk inspiration throughout, okay? It's got the gun patches on both sides. So it reminded me of, there's a scene in American Gangster where Frank Lucas, played by Denzel Washington, goes to visit uh, the head of the Italian mafia, played by Armando, San Armando Sante, and they're skeet shooting at his, uh, at Asante's, uh, estate and man they just they, I think it was a Sante that had I'm pretty sure you double uh, correct me if I'm wrong but I'm pretty sure it was Armando Sante's character 
that had on the, the, uh, the uh, skeet shooting jacket that had double gun patches. I think Denzel's only had the one gun patch. But man, when I saw that, I said to myself, you know, one day I'll find one through, you know, through Ralph. And I was able to find one this summer. Um, a dark olive, almost military green under the collar complements the gun patches on either shoulder. Also complements the olive hues within the actual tweed. Now, the base of the base of this jacket is more of a brown. There's a little bit of classic wine in there, um, but it's mostly hues of brown and tan. But that olive brings the entire brown and tan uh, lighting down some. So it's uh, it's almost like you have to get up cl close and personal to this uh, to this sports coat. To really see the uh, the influence of the olive inside the tweed, man. This is this is an amazing jacket. Single vented, which is cool, no problem. Most of your Norfolk do come in uh, single vented. Uh, doesn't have doesn't have your belting on it, but yeah, definitely elbow patches, functional surgeon's coat type buttons here, man. This is. Uh, this was a great find, and I definitely didn't pay an arm and leg for it. The guy worked out the deal with me. This is, uh, yeah, this is this is this is almost a grail piece for me. So I was ecstatic to get that, and it's a great fit too. Now, grail piece, one down. I got about five more to go, if I'm not mistaken. Talked about this on a few episodes uh, way back. Finally got my hands on one. Uh, shout out to my man low T underscore ATL down there in the A. That's all he does uh, is uh, resell Ralph Warren, man. And I've I've been I've been spending money and breaking bread with him for a long, long time. So good dude, good dude. Um, but yeah, he found one before he posted it. He hit me up and let let me know he had it. Man. Unfortunately, I didn't. Unfortunately, I didn't see that he hit me up about it till maybe a day later. So by the time I responded, he had already posted it. But we worked out pricing, and yeah, it was mine before anybody else could get it. I wasn't gonna allow that to happen. Giant Rugby Collegiate R here with your uh, football logo inside the R. So this particular guy is. All-American varsity football player. All right, got your Indian head logo, which that's a lot of times with this particular jacket. That's what most guys will go with because there was a rugby Ralph Lauren cap. Uh, I, I'm pretty sure it's a wool cap and had this same uh, navy and had this same Indian logo in yellow on the uh, cap. So that's what most guys go with. Um, I've seen a few. To me, they're a little bit too pricey. There's one there's one online right now for like 300. I'm not paying that for a cap, sorry. Um, but I would like to find a navy with this exact same R. That would be pretty cool if I could find that. But anyway, City Champs, uh, 19, 1940, New York. The RLR, the RLRFC Champs here on the football, man. It's just, this is dope, man. This is dope. This is dope. You got another rugby logo down here. Obviously, navy, gold, trimming, leather sleeves. 40 here for 1940. The only thing I have to do that I have to do when I wear this that I normally don't have to do with my varsity uh, Letterman jackets is because the size of this jacket. The size of this jacket, I, I got this in a medium. And that's because my guy Low T told me he felt like it ran a little big. Now I hadn't heard that before. But again, like I said, this is a good dude. I've done business, I've been doing business with this guy five years. So I, I trust him. So I went ahead and, and, and made it and made it made it do what it do. And when I got it and tried it on, I was like, yeah, he's right. It it runs a little big in the body. Um Lengthwise, it doesn't run big. 
So this is a little bit shorter as far as length than my other uh, Varsity Letterman jackets. However, if I were to choose a, a length fit, I would choose this one. Cause it just, it's perfect. It's right there below the belt. Right there below the belt is where it fits. Like I'm talking this much below the belt, right? Only thing I have to do with this jacket that I don't have to do with my other jacket is I have to wear my sleeve out. Normally, the Letterman jackets come like this. That's how you rock them or whatever, and that's cool. But because of my arm length, I wear it like that. I get the same look. And then unless you just nosy and sweating me and all in my business, nobody's the wiser, man. This is a beautiful piece. I'm happy with it. Um, I don't. I don't even think, man, like if, if I stayed this size or give her, well, not, yeah, if I stayed this size and give or take 10, 10, 15 pounds or a half inch here or there, gained or lost, I probably, I, I, I wouldn't switch for a large. Now, if, you know, if something happened where we got quarantined for another two years or something and I just couldn't keep the weight off and, and a little bit of weight came back, maybe I would exchange it for a large, but I like the fit. It's a great, it's a great freaking fit, man. And I'm just really excited to finally get one of these grill pieces knocked off my list. All right. A little old hillside bourbon. I'm running low. Uh, I'm running low, and that doesn't work for me. So I have to make a move here soon. I'm, I'm not about to be without my whole heel side. But that's another episode in the books. Uh, we're back from hiatus and we just looked at a couple of pre-fall finds that I was able to get my hands on over the hiatus. Uh, a bunch of great pieces. Uh, a few rugbies, a few sweaters, uh, a few pieces of outerwear. Some great, great pieces, great pieces great pieces that I'm that I'm very excited to have in the arsenal. All right. Now I want to talk to you a minute about what's going on with RalphLine.com. Um, still there's a for me, I'm only speaking for myself, but still there's an issue with sizing. Not understanding why some of the sizing has been altered or changed. But you know, go with the flow, right? Um, and I'll be the first to admit that over the last couple of years, I have lost some faith and some confidence in people in decision-making positions when it comes to what's released, uh, fits, etc. right? But, however, what I've seen so far from pre-fall and some of the items that I see that are coming, um, because as you know, I'm, I'm, I'm still, I'm still, I'm still an insider. I'm still in, in the game. So, you know, I still have quite a few plugs and, and connections within the actual um, corporate world of ground farm. So... I've seen a few things. Now let me tell you something. From what I've seen and the direction that I think the company is going as far as fall 2021, this may just compete with uh, fall 2012 and fall 2013. I know, I know, I know, calm down. I know it almost sounds blasphemous, but trust me when I tell you. I saw a patchwork sweater, and what's crazy, I saw it online, and I was in the process of doing something else. So I saw it, I was like, holy, man, when I finished what I was doing and then I went back, I couldn't find it. I uh, typed in a few keywords in the search engine, could not find it. So I'm not even sure if this piece was men. Uh, what made me 
think it was initially for men was because what I was looking at, this was under you may also like section. So, you know, they, I, they've never told me I may also like something that was for women or kids. I was looking at something for men. That's neither here nor there, but this piece is a patchwork piece. Um, it looked like a, it looked like a sweatshirt. It may have been a sweater, but it was patchwork and had a bear on it. Um, it wasn't a bear like this per se. It was kind of like, well, you know, if someone makes a patchwork uh, teddy bear for for resale. For their child, actual hands on it. It looked like that type of bear within the pet. Man, it was. Whew, whew, let me tell you. Uh, that they got a few new logos out. Um, I like the, I like the color combinated block lettering polo that I've seen a lot of. Uh, I saw a lot, a lot of it in the late spring, so it's trickling down into fall. Uh, sports coats, suits, seen a lot, a lot, a lot of new ones. Uh, there's a, there's a patchwork sports coat that's amazing. There's a patchwork leather bomber, bomber with shearling lining throughout the interior. So not just the collar, but all the way down, all the way down to the, to the bottom of the, uh, leather jacket. Now, it's probably going to cost you an arm, leg, and a kidney, but man, let me tell you, that beautiful, beautiful piece. Um, I saw a hoodie with a giant P and a giant R in that collegiate one over top of the other type lettering. It was at least this big, right? Navy hoodie, gold letterings, and then it had 67 under it and an L right there. So it still gave you that P-R-L, but it gave it to you different as opposed to all three letters being stacked on top. Man, I said, oh, that hoodie is crazy. Um, oh, real quick. Pick these two pieces up too. Look at these Oxfords, man. Beautiful collegiate collegiate colors. It's got your four food groups. Wine, navy, gold. College green, navy, gold. Beautiful, beautiful vertical striping here on this, these Oxfords, man. These, uh, yeah, when I saw these, that was a no-brainer. They come in classic fit. Remember that if you go online to try to order them. But, um, yeah, that's just that's just a few things that I have seen um, as far as this pre-fall campaign leading up into fall. It's football season. Uh, I saw all the super spreader games on TV today. Not sure how long that's going to last. Uh, but, I mean, the way Alabama whooped up on Miami, as of current recording right now, uh, it was halftime and Clemson was down 7 nothing to Georgia. The Georgia Bulldogs, the Georgia Bulldogs, but um, yeah, college college football is in full swing, week one. So I'm a happy camper. Uh, the NFL starts next Sunday. Um, September, if it's if September is anything like August, she's gonna be in and out like that, and we're gonna be into October, which man, that's when the leaves are falling. The leaves are orange, red, yellow, a splash of green. And crisp, crisp, uh, breezy mornings. I'm, I'm excited, man. And I know y'all are too. So, and I got a few things I'm going to do with seeing the style that'll be different from last fall, last season's seeing the style. I'm gonna try something a little different. Um, I'm not gonna put you up on details right now, but in the coming weeks, I'll definitely be once I once I once I have everything fully developed, then I will let you guys know what changes we're gonna make. The changes I promise you will not be uh, drastic changes, and they will be for the better. I'm not a guy that's big 
on wholesale changes of anything. If it works, if it's if it ain't broke, don't don't fix it. So these are just things that I'm looking to add on to uh, elevate the brand even more. I'm still available for styling. Uh, still not ready to do any major traveling to to come to you and style you, but we still have uh, FaceTime, Instagram, video chat, etc. Uh, so I'm still available for that as well. You know, those type of things, plus donations here and there. And I just want to say thank you, man, to the, to a, a couple of the fellas that, that were able to make donations over, uh, over the hiatus. You know, uh, I might be sitting there randomly just doing some curating in here and get a cash out notification of X amount of dollars. And the note might say from Mr. Such and Such, just, you know, just wanting to keep the channel going. And I appreciate that. I definitely appreciate that. Uh, the more things like that happen, the bigger the channel gets, then, you know, we can start looking at actually getting a staff and a crew and really taking this thing to another level. Because um, I'm definitely ready to do that. I have a lot of great ideas. Uh, it's just a matter of being patient, that's all. And I'm very patient when it comes to this because this is, this is what we do, all right? But what I need you to do for me, please, is I need you to hit that like, hit that subscribe, and then I need you to go on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, sorry, typo, Facebook, uh, LinkedIn, Twitch, uh, whatever, YouTube, whatever, wherever you go for your social media, I need you to go and tell a friend. Because we here and fall is knocking on the door. This is going to be a great fall for the uh, Ralph Lauren Collector. All right. Hit that like, hit that subscribe, tell a friend we here. All right. Y'all have a good one.